Hey guys, welcome back. Quest 3, Blade and Sorcery, Campaign Crystal Hunt. Heading out to the Outlaws Outpost. We're gonna try to do this full crystal hunt run with a meat cleaver. So once we get out of here, we gotta head over to the Baron, see if we can buy a meat cleaver. These graphics is crazy. All right, what do we have here? These are the things we already have in our inventory. I like this, we'll use that as a secondary, but. Let's see if we can sell some of our items to him first. Some things we picked up during the last run. Welcome, stranger. I don't think we have much. Yeah, we basically have anything. We have like some skulls and that's about it. I think these are worthless. <laughs> He's not gonna buy these. He's just looking at them. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work. All right, let's see what we can buy. Let's head over to the weapons. And there we go, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a rusty meat cleaver. Do some damage with that. Let's put it on the mat. That makes it available for purchase. Click buy. Now it's ours. So it'll be in our inventory. Let's add it to our hip. And we're ready to go. So we're looking for Outlaws Outpost. If we complete this crystal run, we should get another map to open up another area. So here we are. Look at the scenery. see a fire up here let's check it out i love to heat up the weapons before i put them on human skin oh okay we got victims already coming at us ah! Woo! I should have bought a shield and they dropped the shield, so let's pick up their shield. It's a, the smallest shield in the world, but it'll still work. There we go. We're ready to start our crystal hunt. Let's make this a fun one. I'm recording this using live mixed reality and it really just <laughs> makes things a whole lot more fun when you can see yourself in the game. All right, let's sneak up on her. What she got? Thought she had some kind of special long sword. Uh, it's kind of basic. We'll use it every now and then, but it's not going to be our primary. We got an archer. Let's hit him with the slow motion. Woo! Woo!
All right, where do we go? I guess we go down. Getting surrounded. Alright, where's my meat cleaver? I'm supposed to be using the meat cleaver. Let's get serious. I love how when you do these crystal runs, it's like different every single time. In each run, you defeat the enemies, you crawl through the dungeon, but then you can't come across doors that have chests behind them to find treasures and things like that. Then ultimately you get to a final section of the, the map. Okay, we got a mage. This guy has magic. And he brought a buddy with him. He has magic also. Let's be careful. Oh, he blasted me. I'm trying to climb back up. I'm like falling off. Oh, he blasted again. Fell in the water. this water. Okay, I see a rope. We just need to get to it. Climb back up, but he's standing right there. Alright, let's get rid of him. Who oh, caught him with a jumping attack. Can I go through this door? It's huge. It's no handle. Nope. So I guess I can't go here. So we gotta find another route. Okay, we found a crystal. Look at that. I just love how they converted this sandbox game into something that's like a full campaign dungeon crawler. feel sorry for her.
keep in mind this is still early in the game so to speak i still have to you know unlock various things different maps i haven't really been using any magic or anything like that yet Alright, I'm trying to figure out where we gotta go. I see I'm at the end of the map. Can't go there. There must be a door I missed somewhere. Or a hallway I missed. Another dead end. Hmm, where do we go? Okay, here we go. We actually made it. We completed the the dungeon crawl, the crystal hunt. Here's our final reward. Let's see what we got. Another crystal. Nice. Put that in inventory. We got some other wares that we can sell to the Baron. Take those and we got a map. This was a good haul. Good run. Let's get out of here.